Hi, Sam Torbert, Sound of Joy Music Services, and we are back with our next viewer request. Let's adjust this camera. Leaning on the Everlasting Arms, Arm by the Reverend Timothy Wright, key of E flat. Let's get into it. Our E flat scale, major scale, two octaves. And take it back down. And the same for our left hand. One octave. All right, so now the late Timothy Wright had his own style of taking a traditional hymn and turning it into his own song. So this is one of them, leaning on the everlasting arms, but he opens up with a somewhat contemporary bass line. Sorry, all the way down there. As you can see why practicing scales is so important, so that you can have both hands in sync, unless you want to do it with one hand. Let's see. have the lower E flat on the 76 keyboard. So basically, the black keys and back down to that E flat. And if you want to put a chord in there, so that will get you into the opening from the album. Not necessary, but in case you did review it from the original album, that's what you're hearing right there. So the Timothy Wright songs follow the choir voicing. Whatever the choir voicing is, they are chording it along with throwing in the intricate chords. So we're going to give you the generic chords that you're going to find. Excuse me, we left out our Nashville scales, minor, major, minor, seventh, and octave, or eight, one. I want you to be able to hear those chords because some of these Nashville chords are in the song. So the more you practice it, the more you get your fingers used to moving in this range and your ears hearing those chords. So. They're your chords. And that is the extent of the chords you're going to be working with for the first two parts of the song. Again, once you've got the bass chords down, then you can jump on the outside of it. in there. And again, you're, you're going to be, as a musician, once you got your choir locked into their parts, 
You can just be what they call scatting or, in a sense, just uh, giving notes around that, that pattern. And of course, he's traditional. His chords will give his songs will give each vo each vox, vocal part soprano alto will have their own time to shine. That soprano to altos have. The alto tenors have. Three part together. There it is. If you're going to be playing their parts. So once you've gotten through that, here is the last part of the song. Timothy Wright songs are designed so that any choir can sing them and certainly any musician can play them. So watch these chords. They are all over the song. These chords are also all over the song. So practice those also so you can hear the chords in this song and have fun singing Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. Please like, subscribe, and comment. See you on the next viewer request.